finally washed my hair and we're gonna do another braid out hopefully it's just as successful as the last and now for real i'm gonna i'm gonna do better i'm gonna do better because i did terrible last month i like to use gloves because i don't like product build up on my hands oh my gosh my hair is super tangled i can't even get a part through it right now holy shit this this is gonna be monstrous this is gonna be monstrous i can see it already oh my gosh my hair is so tangled I really did do a shitty job of taking care of my hair. Got one section successfully separated. I'm gonna go ahead and pan her up. And all right, there you go, we got it. All right, I'm gonna put this one up. All right, one more parting section to go. And the back is always the worst because my back of my hair is a whole lot more kinkier. All right, woo, choice. There it is, okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start on this section since this one is free. Let's talk about those products because I didn't really want to talk about them in the beginning. I was gatekeeping a little bit. Cause, well not gatekeeping because I didn't want to share. Gatekeeping because I wasn't sure if the products was really there. For me, product reviews take at least a few tries to see if it really is a good product. So the products that I have been using is the Donna's Recipe. Her right here, Donna's Recipe is what I used on my last braid out. So crazy how successful that braid out came out and it was my first time using these. At first I bought them out of Ulta on a whim. I wasn't even looking for these products. My girlfriend suggested them. So I was just like, meh, you know, I like trying out new products. So Donna's recipes, first of all, it smells like sweet potato pie. It smells like sweet potato pie. I mean, it's not like a strong, like overwhelming, like some people think sweet potato pie, they think like overwhelming smell of cinnamon. No, it is a very sweet and subtle smell. It smells so freaking good. So this is the leave-in conditioner, uh, the hair cream right here. I also picked up the extra creamy hair in scalp oil and it is like this thick cocoa butter kind of like you have to dig in there to get it and then when it like comes together it's nice and oily and look at that sheen oh my gosh this product right here is probably my favorite out of the I'm sorry, I'm sorry. my favorite <laughs> my favorite out of all of the products that i did purchase and i also picked up her hair oil now this i don't think i used last time i did not i don't remember using this last time so i'm gonna use it this time so going in first with the leave-in conditioner and it comes out nice and creamy not too uh, watery you know not too thick a very nice like daily everyday cream and I like to do the entire section all in one go because this is going to help me with detangling. Usually most leave-in conditioners have a nice softness to it and slip that I'm able to detangle my hair with it. I like to do my prayer hands with this so I can make sure I get as much distribution as much as possible. Y'all see all that shed hair right there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all shed hair right there. It is. It's disgusting. I do uh, three sections out of this one section. I'm gonna go in with this big ass, like detain, like toothpick comb, and yeah, that is nothing but shed hair right there. Look at all that. Oh my god, just tangled up. I'm gonna go in with the detangling brush, and this is gonna smooth out the rest of it. Any tiny knots or leftover shed hair will come out with that, and yeah, there it is. So out of that one little section, I had that much hair. Look at that, just, that's a month worth of not <laughs> doing my hair. Now I'm going to go in with the hair cream and it is this nice, thick, luxurious cream right here. And I just like take this one right here on my fingertips and just work it, work it, work it up the shaft of the hair. And I'm gonna go in with the cream to oil, very creamy oil. And as you can see, look at that. And again, work it up the shaft of the hair. And 
And I'm definitely heavier on my ends than I am my roots. The ends are the oldest part of the hair, so I like to take extra special care. And I also like my ends to be the most defined. And I prefer to have a volume at the roots. Now I'm gonna split my hair into its three sections and just create a regular ass plait. Nothing to it, but to do it, try to keep your sections as even as possible. And then boom, just like that, one down, 25 more to go. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Leave-in conditioner, cream, and then the extra creamy oil favorite product so far. Those three products is what achieved my bomb ass braid out from last time. So we are on the last one guys. The last one and I'm so tired and my back is killing me. I really need to find some better like chairs to sit in when I do my hair. These little cheap ones that I got from Home Goods are not cutting it, okay? They're cute aesthetically, but I'm getting to the age where aesthetic is starting to beat out comfort. Or comfort is starting to beat out aesthetic. Okay, I'm getting old. That's pretty much what I'm telling you. I'm getting old, and this this is for the birds. Anyways, I sit under the dryer for at least 20 minutes to open up the cuticles of my hair so that it can absorb some more of this product. This was all the shed. Which, I mean, to be honest, it ain't that bad. It's not that bad, but this is like a month's worth of shed. It, I mean, it is bad. I should have done better. If I would have washed my hair, I wouldn't have experienced this much shed hair. Yeah, the products are really, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and put some oil on my scalp. I already did like this side. I'm gonna do this side right here. I did it off camera because I kind of wanted to see how it was going to feel. And I ain't going to lie. This this is my first time. I thought I might have used it on the last time I used her products, but I didn't because it tingles. And I damn sure would have remembered using this if it was a tingle oil. And I love tingle oils. I don't know what it is. Just something about an oil that just tingles my scalp. Oh, I don't know what it feels like, but it's just, it feels so awakening to the scalp, to, to the follicles. I always do my bare ass edges because I have very thin edges. But yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm losing more hair than um, I should be. And I think it's, it probably is my iron. I'm pretty sure it's my iron. I haven't been doing too good in the hema hemoglobin area yeah. i love going to the doctor and they be like um miss kapop hun your your blood pressure is high it's definitely higher than normal what is going on and i'm like i work i got kids i got bills and we live on earth like i'm confused as to why you think my blood pressure would be normal and they be like, oh, you just need to calm down. You just need to, you know, take a deep breath. Like, bitch, I breathe all damn day. What the? F they, be, they be pissing me off sometimes. You just need to calm down. What does that mean? What does that mean? You know, just, uh, yeah, just uh, take up yoga. I'm like, like, uh. Like, I love how they just say it so casually. Like, you know, you just need to calm down. Like, that, that be pissing me off. Like, what? How the hell am I do that? What do, what does that entitle? What does that mean for me? How do you like give me instructions so I can follow? But anyways, I will probably keep these in. I'm gonna do a week. I'm gonna do a week because I said I was gonna do better. So I'm gonna do a week of keeping it in and I'm gonna take it out. Cause today it's Wednesday night. So next Tuesday, I'm a, okay, Monday. So at least Sunday night, I'm gonna do Sunday night. That way I can wear the braid out, you know, for the work week. You know, I'm telling myself all this, I don't know damn what I'm gonna do. But Sunday night, I'm gonna take it out. And you know, that's, that's the plan. Like how juicy this one looks. Look how juicy and moisturized it looks. <laughs> You know, some of y'all probably ain't here to hear me talk. Y'all be like, girl, if you don't get to the damn tutorial, I'm not doing tutorials no more. I'm talking, damn it. Y'all gonna listen to me talk. I don't have nobody else about me. I don't know why I put this much lip gloss on my lips and I'm about to go to bed. Monday morning. I'm gonna tell you that Monday morning. 
I might. I don't get up in time to take out my hair in the morning. I barely get up in time to get dressed and brush my teeth. I'm not. I'm not gonna get up early today. I'm gonna have to do it Sunday night. But see, Sunday night I'm gonna sleep on it and then just. But you know, I might be alright because you know it's by Tabitha Brown. And who don't love Tabitha? If you don't love Auntie Tab, like something wrong with you. But it just uh, it tells you to do a patch test 24 hours prior to application. I think these were like somewhere between the $15, $18 range. Um, anything north of $20, I consider to be luxurious and, you know, expensive. Um, and that's Pattern Beauty. Pattern Beauty, she is expensive, but she's really nice. I like the Pattern Beauty line. Um, and you should, with the money you spend it, if you don't like it, you need to get your money back ASAP. Don't don't waste no money like that if you don't like the product. Yeah, God forbid I don't want to be editing this video and I see that I got a whole bald spot. That has got to be the most heartbreaking part to find out that you balding is doing a tutorial and you realize you ain't got no hair back there. Or you don't even realize your hair. Like I just, I just, you know, if I'm gonna lose my hair, let me lose it in the privacy of not me recording a tutorial. Like, why would you be disrespectful and wait to show up on my tutorial while I'm editing the video? I am gonna let y'all go. Bye. Good night. Ooh, those lashes are lashing. All right, now it's time to take out this braid out. So I'm just unraveling them, trying not to unravel them too much until I got it completely unraveled. So then I can begin fluffing it away. And there it is. Look at that definition. Looks amazing. Now things supposed to rain today, so the humidity it's going to be kicking my ass. Yes, it will. God, that looks gorgeous. Like, OMG. We're going to come back and finish this because I'm about to die. My battery's about to die, so I got to switch y'all out. Bye. <laughs> All right, so this is the finished product. And look at how defined those curls are like it just looks like shit but you know the curls is what we focus in on right now it looks so good you know it's when my hair is like this where i be contemplating whether or not i should dye it blonde because i haven't had a blonde fro in about three years and that is just like my signature all right, y'all, so once again, I forgot to turn my mic on while I was recording, but I wanted to come back on here and show y'all day two hair. So this is what she's looking like so far, all right? The definition, flawless. The fullness, flawless. The, the moisturization, flawless. Ain't no dryness over here. The shine, everything. I love these products so much. This style lasted me at least four to five days and then by then it's time for my wash day. But thank you guys for joining us on another video here on my channel. We greatly appreciate having you. Do not forget to check out our many other videos here and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you would love to see content like this more on our channel. We greatly appreciate having you here. Be blessed and be safe.